Today, I have something rather special I'd like to show you. Meet my latest creation. I call it the Steel Plate Harp, aka Eric. I really, really like the sound. It's, it's so unique and weird and just wonderful. I'll show you how it works. So it's very, very basic. You can pretty much see what's going on. The strings are going over this bridge. So you hit the string, resonates through the bridge and then into the, this big steel plate. And that's what's creating all the sound. Apart from that, it's pretty basic. I have a frame going around the steel plate. The steel plate is suspended via these springs. And then we have like very basic screws on one end, guitar tuners on the other side, and that's pretty much it. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I kind of like that. So a little while back, I got obsessed with something called a plate reverb. You would have this huge steel plate, and then you send your signal to a speaker that was attached to the steel plate, and then that signal would reverberate along the steel plate and then we'd be picked up by a pickup or a microphone or something and then get that would get sent back to you and then you blend that affected signal with the original sound and that would be your reverb they had to be so creative back in the day with these these physical ways of, of creating these effects and that was the spark of this idea it's not a pure sound it's not like a pure clear signal wave there's all kinds of overtones and little distortions and things that are going on of course the springs here add a lot to that sound and they have their own reverberation or whatever is going on there you know um, and I noticed that the whole thing actually moves as well which then adds its own vibrato. The other thing I love about this is that it's all open. You can touch the soundboard, you can manipulate it. If you clap your hands or you shout in an empty room, the frequencies are gonna bounce all over the walls and you'll get this sound. Then if you start putting things inside that room, some carpets, furniture, curtains, then the sound changes so you can manipulate that sound that's in the room. You can't really do that with hollow bodied instruments like a guitar. But with this, because it's all open, there's so many more possibilities that you can, that you can do. For example, I can manipulate the sound after I've hit the strings by moving the soundboard, touching it, dampening it, doing whatever I want with it. And this just opens up so many more possibilities. So that's the sound dry. Uh, let's see what she's like with a little bit of reverb added.
Another thing I realized I can do is chopsticks. This is a chopstick with fabric tape to the top. It even sounds pretty good with an Ebo. So why on earth did I decide to do this? Let's go outside and talk about it. Maybe I'm just going through a midlife crisis or maybe I have too much time on my hands because of the pandemic. I think I have this need to build things with my hands. I think we all have this within us. And a while back I used to live on a narrow boat in London and I rebuilt the boat from the inside completely. It took me about five years. Um, but I miss those times and that was, Every day there was something to do, whether it was to chop wood or fix something. There was something very nostalgic about it. And it definitely wasn't all happy times. It was hard times, it was cold, it was damp. I kind of miss being creative and working with my hands. You know, I don't have this as much anymore. Uh, and I think I miss that. I wasn't just building something for someone else. I was building my home. If I made some shelves, you know, I could then put my books on it and I could reap the benefits from building that immediately. Uh, and I loved that. And I think it's a similar thing. I think we all have this yearning inside of us to, to build with our hands and create. That's why my son loves building with Lego. And that's why I probably love building Lego with him as well. I, I really mean I, I have no idea what I'm doing, you know, with any of this. There's bolts all over the place. It's not pretty by any means, but it's not all about the looks. And with instruments, it's about the sound to me. Uh, it's very nice to have a, a beautifully made instrument, but this definitely serves a purpose and I quite like its ugliness. It has this charm. So in conclusion, what have I learned from this? I've learned to follow my ideas, no matter how crazy they may seem. And I've learned to listen to that need to build and create. It's good for the mind, it's good for the soul. And in these pandemic times, I think it's something we can all benefit from. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I really hope this was inspirational for you somewhat. If you've built your own instrument, please, I'd love to see and hear it. Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, please like it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.